Hey, hi boys and girls. Welcome back to year number two of Telling Tales with Mrs. Taylor. Did you have a good summer? I know I did. And it's still kind of summery outside too, isn't it? Oh, I'm so excited for this year. And I hope you will join me for all my stories. But first, I have to have a big shout out to Miss Zaney's Old Carver Kindergartners from last year. They're now first graders, but I got to come in and read stories about sharks last, uh, probably about the last week of school last year, and we made shark hats. And to thank me, they made this really cool book called Thank You, Mrs. Taylor. We love you. And there's a whole bunch of pictures of sharks. And I can show you a couple of them. There's one. This is a whole book of baby sharks that they made me. They made me sharks. They made me letters. They wrote letters. Here's another cute baby shark. Right now... Mrs. Zaney's kids are in first grade at Oak Harbor. So I hope the first graders, your teachers will let you watch this. But anyway, thank you very much. This just makes my heart so happy to have this book from you. And maybe I can come in and see you later on this year. If not, tune in to Telling Tales with Mrs. Taylor on YouTube. Okay. Well, so you've been in school now for probably a week. And how many of you out there felt that you were a little scared coming to kindergarten? I was scared when I went to kindergarten. I was scared of the bus. I was afraid to be away from my mommy. I was just afraid of everything. And what I needed was something called courage. And I'm wearing a little necklace called courage. Now I want you to think about, what do you think courage means? You're thinking about that a little bit? Well, I've got a really cool book called The Power of Courage. And if you don't know what courage is, I think every one of you had courage your first day of school. So let's see what courage is. It's called The Power of Courage. So for the next few weeks, we're going to be talking about your superpower. Hopefully, this is one of them. The Power of Courage courage and these are these books that I'm gonna read you can find at the Hallmark stores I got mine over at the Hallmark store in Sandusky Psst. hey you yes you do you want to know a secret you do okay here it is courage isn't just for superheroes Nope. Sorry, superheroes. Courage is for anybody and everybody. Now, courage isn't about beating bad guys or signing autographs or never feeling scared. So what is courage? Well, courage is any time you do something, even though that something might scare you a little bit. And it's the greatest superpower of all. It can even change the world. Courage is seeing someone who needs help. And you standing up for them.
Courage is telling the truth. Even though lying might be easier. Do you see where he hit the ball through the window? My son did that two times when he was a little boy. But he always admitted, had the courage to admit that he did it. Courage, why, it's doing the right thing, even when the right thing might be really hard to do. Now, on this page, I don't know if it's hard for you to tell, but one of the little boys wants to copy the answers from his friend. But his friend said, no way. That would be cheating. It takes courage to say no to a friend sometimes. A lot of times, courage is just showing up every day and being who you are, no matter what's going on around you. Especially after a long weekend, it takes courage to come back to school, even for the teachers. It's not always easy to be courageous. Some days it can really be hard to feel brave. But here's the thing about courage, and you can share it. And when you're feeling low on courage, you can borrow from someone else who has a little more courage. A family member, a friend, anyone else whose superpower is courage, just like you. Talking to someone else about what scares you can help you feel more courageous. And when you're courageous, you make other people's lives better too. You inspire them to be courageous, even when they not, may not feel like it. And little by little, your choice to have courage can make the whole world a better place, one person at a time. So if you want to change the world, good news, you can do it. And if you want to be a superhero, good news, you already are one. Because when courage is your superpower, there are no limits to what you can do. And that is the end. Remember, courage isn't just for superheroes. And though being courageous might not always be easy, it can make your life and the lives of everyone else better. It can even change the world. Uh -uh. I'm going to read another story. Um, and I don't know, maybe your teachers sometime could make a little necklace and then you could have the word courage on the front of it. Maybe you could even talk about courage in your classroom, but that's up to your teacher. The teacher decides. I've got one more story today, and I don't know if you've ever heard about this one, but I love this story, and it's called, Have You Ever Seen a Sneep? Hmm, I don't know if I've ever seen a Sneep. I don't even know what one is. But this one's by um, Tasha Pym, is the author. Have you ever seen a sneak? Have you ever set out a picnic in a truly splendid spot and turned your back for just one second? Now, I don't know if you can see it, but this might be a sneep. So you turned your back for one second. To find a sneep has taken the whole picnic. Oh, so this, you haven't? This hasn't been anything that has happened to you? Hmm.
Have you ever wanted some quiet, you know, a little time to read a book and you're settled down under a tree with all your books? When, I don't know. To have it ruined by a snook? Oh, you haven't been have it ruined by a snook? Okay, how about this? Well, then perhaps you've been down by a stream playing on a rope and you swung out over the water. Oh no, it's gonna happen. And you flew straight down a Grolic's throat? Not that either? You've never gone down a Grolic's throat? Hmm. Surely you've spied a floon and thought, well, of all the curious things, go, and then you've gone in to take a closer look at this little fluke which is probably really hard for you to see, but I'm doing the best I can here. It's real tiny. So you've gone in to take a closer look at the fluke and discovered that a fluke springs? Never? You've never had this happen? Hmm. You simply must have been out walking then, maybe whistling as you do, just going about your business when, oh no. And you've been chased home by a canoe? What? Now wait, please let me get this straight. Where you live, you mean to tell me that there are no sneeps, no snooks, no grullocks, no floons, and no canoes? And I'm not talking about the boat canoe. Well then, I hope that you won't mind because... then I'm coming to live with you. Why do you think that little boy wants to come and live with you? Can you tell me? You're right, because there are no sneeps or canoes or grolics where you live, so he wants to live with you. Anyway, my friends, it's been a blast spending today with you, and I will see you next week. Remember to tell your friends to go to YouTube and type in Telling Tales with Mrs. Taylor. See you next time.